Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Fino Concept. So today I'm going to show you how to create a stamp in Adobe Photoshop. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Now before we get started, this is for educational purposes only. So don't go ahead and create this for document that is illegal. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our application. For this tutorial, I'm using Photoshop CC 2018 and I'll go ahead and create a new document. Um, I'll set the weight and height to about 1000 by 1000. You can go higher if you want. The more the pixel, the better. So the first thing we are going to do is go to the shapes tool and grab a custom shape tool. Now I'll click on this drop down arrow here and I'll select this custom shape tool which is this one right here. You can also use ellipse and create several of them. So I'll create a shape like this and I'll use the move tool to try and position this at the center. Now you can always stretch this out if it is um, too small for you. So I think the width is a little bit too much, I probably should have checked that. So what I'm going to do is I'll hold down control and I'll click on this thumbnail right here. Then I'll go to select and I'll click on modify. Now under modify I'll click on contract. So I'm going to contract it by about 5 pixel. Let's try that. Okay, so 5 pixel is okay for me. So I'll hold down control, shift and I. This is going to invert the selection and I'll create a layer mask for that. So click on this layer mask and hit control I. This is going to invert the selection. So basically this is what we have. Now I'm going to rasterize this shape. So I'll right click and I'll, sorry, not on the thumbnail. I'll right click on probably the name and I'll go to rasterize layer. And once I've done that, I'll apply this layer mask. So basically this is what we have. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this. Um, I think it's still too wide for me. So I'll try and do that one more time. I'll go to select, modify, contract by 3 pixel. So again, invert selection and I'll hit the delete on my keyboard. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this control J. Then with my move tool selected, I'll hold down shift and control um, alt. Then I'll try and position this somewhere around here. Now we want to have a text going around this. So um, I'll use the elliptical marquee tool and I'll create a selection like so. If your selection isn't perfect, just right click and go to transform selection. So once you do that, you can just use these arrows to adjust it. So I'm trying to align mine to what I have here. So um, once I have this, I can just go to select, modify. This time around, I'm going to expand my modification. So I'm going to expand by about um, 10 pixel. So I have that expansion. now. With the selection still active, I right click and go to make work path and tolerance I'll just leave it as one and I'll click on OK. Now I'll go to the type two and I'll start typing in my information. Now you can see that um, this is not the perfect alignment so I'll just use the space key on my keyboard and I'll try to center this as much as possible click on ok now the next text we want it to be moving in the opposite direction so what do we do we'll create that selection one more time so i'll go back to creating that selection right click go to transform selection and i'll try to align this like what we did previously now once i've done that select modify um expand by 10 pixel now we don't want the text to be moving around this way we want it to be moving inwards so uh you know what let's increase the expansion so select modify let's expand it by 50 pixel so we have that one moving from this angle okay this is great so once i've done that i'll right click and go to select inverse you can also use Control shift i that's going to create an inverse selection of what we have already so um still with the selection active right click and go to make work path tolerance of one 
then we'll grab our type tool and we'll type it in here and i'll try and position this at the center as well now i'm not sure if there's a better way of doing this but this is basically how i create mine now the font is a little bit too much for me so i think i'll go with uh, 16 and i'll do the same for this i probably should have checked on this one instead okay so i'll select a font of 16 from here as well now there's one more text we have to add so i'll just type it in here so that is going to be probably um date now you can see this is positioned at a place um that is a little bit weird it's supposed to be centered so i'll grab my move tool and with that layer selected i'll just use the arrow key to place it at the center like so and basically that is it but obviously a stamp is not black usually it's supposed to be around blue violet thereabouts because of the ink they use so i'll go ahead and create a new layer and i'll grab my gradient tool so click on the gradient tool now go to the gradient options up here then go ahead and select the rainbow preset the name is actually um spectrum so with that done just change all of these colors so for the first one i'll just go for um a dark purple like so the second one i'll go for a dark blue i'll just be doing that for all of them so what i'll do is i'll just click at one end whilst holding down shift i'll click and drag to the other end and i'll release so we have this so um that is what we have on top now we want to apply it and everything we've created so i'll just select everything like so hold down control hold down alt and i'll press on e and this is going to merge all of them up so if i quickly turn the eyeball of all of these you can see that everything is just merged up now once we've done that i'll just turn on the eyeball right click on it and i'll create a clipping mask so that's going to apply it directly onto our shape like so so what i'll do is i'll just duplicate this Control j and i'll do the same for that but this time around i'm going to be altering this a little bit so i'll move this slightly to the right and i'll reduce the opacity to about 50 percent so that we can have this so that is it once you're done make sure the eyeball of the background is turned off go ahead to file go to save as then save it as a png file so once you do that you can just apply it on any document you want but like i said this is for educational purposes only so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always share with your family and friends this is theo from Final concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one